seeing an opportunity to unite united in civil rights activities and anti civil war activists we will convince the king to become even more active in the anti war effort despite his growing public opposition toward the vietnam war king was not fond of the hippy culture which developed from the anti war movement in this 1967 messy lecture king stated the importance of the happy is not in in their convention and conventional behavior but in the fact that hundreds of thousands of young people in turning to a flight from reality are expressing a profoundly discrediting views on the society they emerge from on january 13 1968 the day after president johnson's state of the union address king called for a large march on washington against one of the history most cruel and sensible wars we need to make clear in the political years he took congressmen on both sides of the aisle and to the president of the united states that we will no longer tolerate we will no longer vote for men who continue to see the killings of the vietnamese and the americans as the best way of advancing the goal of freedom and self determination in southeast asia correspondence with the thais net han thai thich net Han was an influential Vietnamese Buddhist who taught at French Chatham University and the Columbia University. He had written a letter, letter to Martin Luther King Jr. in 1965 entitled In Search of an Enemy of Man. It was during his 1960 stay in the U.S. that Nut Han met with the king and urged him to publish, publicly denounce the Vietnam War. In 1967, Dr. King gave a famous speech at the the riverside church in the new york city he his first to publicly question the us involvement in the vietnam letter that year dr nominated the non not han for the 1967 nobel peace prize in this nomination dr king said i do not personally know anyone more worthy of this prize than this gentle work monk from the vietnam his ideas for peace if applied would build a moon monument to the ecumenism to world brotherhood to the humanity who are people's campaign in 1968 rose of tents a uh, shant towns established in washington dc to protest economic condition as a part of the who are people campaign in 1968 king and and the sclc organization the poor people campaign to address issues and of economic justice king traveled the country to assemble a multi multi racial army of the poor that would march on the washington to engage in a non violent civil disobedience at the capital until congress march on washington to engage in a non violent civil disobedience at the capital until congress created an economic bill of rights for poor americans the campaign was preceded by the king final book where do we go from here in chaos or community which laid out his views of his how how to address social issues and poverty king quoted from henry george and george books progress in poverty particular in the support of a guaranteed basic income the campaign culminated in a march on washington dc demanded economic aid to the poorest communities of the united states king and the sc lc called on the government to invest in the rebuilding america's cities he felt that congress had shown hospitality to the poor by spending military funds with the alacrity uh, and the generosity he contrasted this with the situation faced by the poor americans claiming that congress had merely provided poverty funds with the miserliness and his vision was for change to that was more revolutionary than mere reforms he cited systematic flaws of racism poverty militarism and materialism and argued that construction of a society itself is a real issue to be faced the poor people campaign was controversial even within the civil rights movement resisting resigning from the march and stating that the goals of campaign were too broad that is demands for unrealizable and that he thought that these campaign would accelerate the backlash and repression on the poor and the black